as you can see we are waiting uh, we are waiting to enter the border it's 10 p.m. yeah 10 p.m. and we have uh, 9 hours 13 minutes of working time left I think it's going to be enough I hope I hope it's going to be enough to cross Capicule into Bulgaria by the way do you remember last two times uh, I was crossing like 40 minutes you know from Bulgaria to Turkey and the second time again like 40 minutes one hour from Bulgaria to Turkey but from Turkey to Bulgaria we are crossing like 8 hours 11 hours we are waiting 100 hours like <laughs> something is wrong right <laughs> and the waiting time um, at Bulgarian parking it was like I don't know not even four hours right for us so yeah like to go to turkey like it's so easy but to enter bulgaria again it's like damn it's the same border it's the same border like it's the same procedure okay like the same like literally the same like so i don't know i just i, I don't understand okay i'm rendering a movie here because why the hell not right do you want to know what is happening look Behind me there is a petrol station. I just took diesel. 2.30, 3am. I think that we are going to sleep at the border because I will run out of time. And why? And why do I think that we are going to sleep at the border? Because from over 9 hours of working time, right now we have four hours and 28 minutes and it is going extremely slow like for fuck's sake extremely slow I think that this four hours is not going to be enough to cross it and to park just outside on Bulgarian side and we have look we have almost four hours of break so it means that if I will be able to park at this border at some place that is uh, on the left if I'm able to park there without losing uh, my current brake then probably I will sleep like 4 or 5 hours yeah and I will have full nine hours of break and we're gonna cross the border again right <laughs> oh fuck my life if you are wondering what is happening we are still at the border 10 45 a.m. next day six hours 34 minutes of break and I am in some spot you know taking a break I was sleeping here yeah I'm still before uh, Bulgarian side of the border I don't know what the fuck they are doing there but uh, I had to do it because I would run out of working time at night I'm still waiting here and I still have to wait 55 minutes before I will join the line again and I will wait there God only knows how long obviously uh, What time? Yeah, that time Shit uh, Do I enjoy it? Oh fuck, I'm just enjoying myself so much, like, fuck, you have no idea, seriously. <clears throat> I'm just thinking, how is it possible, you know, that you are going into Turkey, 40 minutes, okay, like, even 40 minutes, yeah, one hour, and you are going into Bulgaria from Turkey, two days, or three days, or four days, like, 100 hours, yeah, like, like just for the crossing you know like from one from the beginning of the border to the end of the border you know just for the crossing like 11 hours you know or 8 hours or 9 
<laughs> like, okay, you can say, Danny, but you are taking diesel, you know? Like, yes. When I'm crossing into Turkey, I'm not taking diesel. When I'm crossing into Bulgaria, yes, I'm taking diesel at the border. But come on, it is like 20 minutes, you know, to fill up my tanks and that's it. So... You are going into Turkey, you are waiting at the parking, I don't know, like a few hours and then you are crossing 40 minutes. You want to go to a fucking Bulgaristan, to a fucking Bulgaria, and you are waiting like, I don't know, two days, four days at the parking and then you are crossing for like 11 hours, you know. Like now, some of those people, you know, they will join the line there and they will go from here, you know, they will join the line there. Uh, and yeah, and new people, you know, are coming here and this cycle repeats like every, I don't know, one hour. <laughs> and you know, I will tell you, I will tell you why the fuck it is how it is. Do you know why? Because up to this point, you know, like everything was normal, right? Uh, crossing like Turkish border, like no delays, but we are going there, you know, to this line. We are waiting God only knows how long to get to a first checkpoint, you know, like passport checkpoint, blah, 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 okay. Then there is a second checkpoint with some guys from customs, you know, and they are like coming inside your cabin, you know, checking out if you have something illegal or not, and they are asking many questions, you know, like blah, 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 okay. Then you are driving to the third checkpoint, you know, like obviously between those checkpoints you are waiting God only knows how long, you know, in a few lines. Uh, so you are arriving in this last checkpoint, uh, which is the weight, you know, they are uh, check how many tons you have and they will check your papers and okay, you are basically driving off the weight, you are stopping in the middle of a fucking area, you know, after it, you are getting out from your truck, you are taking those papers, you are going to some uh, Bulgarian border officers, you know, from customs that are just sitting around there, you know, doing nothing, you know, because they are fucking lazy. You are going to them and you are giving them those papers and they are asking you, do you have cigarettes, do you have uh, alcohol? And you are saying, no, you don't have. They are signing your papers that you don't have and with the same papers, you are going to the previous checkpoint, you know, you are showing those papers there and the guy is just putting into system that okay you don't have cigarettes you don't have alcohol and he is giving you your documents passport you know and so on and then you can go yeah then you like what the fuck like i don't know like it's like why why it is like that if like the first custom guys you know they are like coming inside your cabin you know like to check out what you have like they can ask do you have alcohol do you have cigarettes or like why i'm supposed to like stop you know like almost at the end of this border in the middle of the parking yeah because there's no other place to stop and i'm getting out and going to those lazy guys you know to like again show them my papers and they will ask me the same questions like what the fuck but obviously the guy at the last checkpoint he can tell you that you are going to um, have x-ray you know or a scanner and then you are basically losing nine hours you know or even more waiting for it so that's fun right that's fun it's a fucking joke okay it's a fucking joke like bulgarian side of this border it is just a fucking joke nothing more i think that you know where we are right at the border we are at the border again before fucking Bulgarian side, still before Bulgarian side. It's after 2 p.m. Like, I, I think like we are going to cross it after 4 p.m. Fuck. And we have started uh, crossing this border like yesterday, 10 p.m. What the fuck? F fuck. Okay, so we have 4 46 p.m. We are in Bulgaria and I don't feel welcomed in Bulgaria. I still remember when I was standing here, you know. <sighs> but that's officially last trip with this trailer, with this truck, with this company. Next one will be with Frigo, so... <laughs> so yes. My sadness is cured, you know. Uh, yeah. 
we have a lot of working time. I guess like we have 14 hours of working time and yeah, because I was trying to, you know, uh, keep my break as far as long as possible on this border. So yeah, we are crossing Bulgaria today, tonight. Um, we are entering Romania, hopefully. Depends what's going to happen at Kalafat. I would go to Rusa and I would cross Romania, you know, because you know that I don't like Bulgaria. I, I wish to drive here as little time as possible. But look, many cars, we have many cars in casino. Yeah. One guy in comments was telling me a very interesting story about casinos in Bulgaria, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Mafia and, you know, and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, I would cross, you know, into Romania, like Rusa, but Romanian people, they have closed uh, this road, you know, from Pitești through mountains to highway. And it's going to be closed till next month. I guess seventh or eighth of, of next month. So, yeah. So it's pointless to go to Rusa, yeah, because the new road is much, much longer. It's too long. I cannot afford to to go there. Come on, man, just overtake me. Just go. <laughs> you are going here. Come on, give me a break. Ah, uh, okay. What are we going to do? We are going to buy something to drink later on and that's it. I guess some coffee or energy drink, something with caffeine. Um, that's it, that's it. And we are just crossing this country, you know. <laughs> we are just crossing this country. Come on, Frigo. Come on. Do you think that we have time? We don't, we don't. We want to get out from this country as fast as possible. Now he's like taking speed, like, come on, man, come on, come on, give me a break. This guy is like, what, what, what those people are doing? Like, what? Come on. The guy is on a bicycle. The guy is on a bicycle. On a highway. Damn. Oh. Okay, let's just chill out, yeah? Let's just chill out. 90 per hour cruise control, we are chilling out, yeah? We are chilling out, like... I'm done. Can you see this road? It's going slowly uphill, yeah? We have to cross those hills, mountains, yeah. It's 38 degrees right now. 7.36 p.m. Last time we went using this road to Pleven, but this time we have a different plan because uh, drivers from my company, they are using some different road, you know, it's something like a shortcut, but they told me that the quality of this road, it is not good, you know, and I was like, okay, but which road in Bulgaria has a good quality? Okay, let's start from that one. So, yeah. But okay, because we can save like one hour or even more. So yeah, um, I will take this road, you know. And the shitty part is that we are going to drive there probably at evening, at night. So I will have to be careful. I hope that there is a tarmac, you know, like... I hope that we are not going to go off-roading with 24 tons of load. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm able to do a lot, you know, to get out from this country as fast as possible. Uh, yeah. So let's see how it's going to be. 96 kilometers left. Oh, look. Last time I was walking here. Yeah. Because there is parking. Uh, this parking. Uh, Nira. Nira. Yes. I still remember this walk. 10 kilometers, you know. Damn, that was nice. That was nice. Okay, I have to admit that this view is nice. Yeah. Those mountains, you know, like 100% covered with uh, with trees, you know. Damn. 
Nice, nice. The guy is overtaking me. Yes, he is in rush. We are not, we are not. I mean, we want to cross it as fast as possible, but, you know, I wish to live at the same time. Okay, so we are on this road and we have 50 kilometers to Mezdra city and we have to somehow pass. As you can see, it's very uh, narrow road with a bad quality. Uh, with a bad quality of tarmac then there is a truck behind me so I feel good you know I feel a bit better because there is a truck behind me but I wish to have this truck in front of me seriously I think I will let him overtake me if he has balls to do it <laughs> like right now we are driving 45 uh, I don't know if we're gonna drive faster because I don't know this road. Like, yeah, he's overtaking me. He's overtaking me. Okay, okay. Look, look. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some bushes on the right. Bushes on the right. And truck on the left. And it's tight. It's tight. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, okay. We got this. Yeah, this truck is from Bulgaria. So he knows what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, we are going. I will try to keep up, you know, behind this guy because he knows what he's doing. Apparently. Hopefully. But yeah, that's really not good road. Yeah, damn. Like those guys from my company, they were right. They're like, P.I. Uh, things, stuff are falling down again. I got used to it. I got used to it. Yeah. Okay, we are going 50, 50 is kinda okay, and this guy is going like 55, 60 maximum, so okay, I guess like I can keep up um, oh, oh, with him, yeah, and why, because I don't know how exactly I'm supposed to pass Mezdra city, I don't know exactly how, Google Maps is not saying me how to do it. And yeah, but I think that this guy will know how. Oh, we have a bit better piece of the road. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna push it, you know, to, to catch him. Oh, it's bad again. You know, you need to have a really good eyes to see those holes on the ground uh, and everything, you know. And those bushes are very close to the right, to the left. Damn, that was bad. I hope that um, we are not going to have some wild animals, you know, jumping uh, in front of my truck. Yeah. There's a car behind me. But yeah, like for cars it is normal to use this road but for trucks like I don't know I don't know like we had like um, no restrictions uh, speaking about uh, weight right so that's okay so I'm sure that we can pass with our truck with our okay I will try to oh Whoa, whoa, the guy is overtaking me. Yes, he is going. I have to show you this one, look. That's such a good quality of the road right now. I don't know if this road is like that till the end, or maybe it's just a small part, but... Damn! Like, damn! It's like a German road, you know? Like, wow! Not even a single bump. Damn! Damn, wow! <laughs> I'm so shocked, you know, I'm like... That's very suspicious, you know, like... What is happening here? You know, what is happening here? We have still... Uh, 34 kilometers to Mezdra. Wow! Like, I'm not going fast because... Like, 
I'm afraid that any time this road will end, you know, and I will hit some rough tarmac. Ah, I will floor it even. I will floor it. Damn. Okay, so we are in some uh, city, crossing some bridge, and the yeah, road is a bit, you know, um, bumpy. Whoa, 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 we have some crossing section here, slowly. Ah, it's basically empty. Uh, 29 kilometers left. I like this sign. <laughs> oh, come on, we are turning here. Danny, pay attention. Yeah, pay attention. It's not over yet. <sighs> okay. Let's go. What do we have here? Some shops. Uh, what is this? Probably some kind of casino. Yeah, Bet Palace. Bet Palace. So, yeah, casino. Um, okay, like there's dog. We are not breaking because he's not crossing. Yeah, let's go because road is suspiciously good. Yeah. Okay. There was a sign that we are going to have some bumps on the road but there was nothing maybe right now yes right now oh very small okay very suspicious you know <laughs> I'm very suspicious it's good that we are passing here at night after 10 p.m. because it's empty no traffic what is this ah coffee machines nice coffee machines Okay. What is this? I don't know. But looks like abandoned. Oh, that was a hole in the ground, but just one. So it's good. It's good. It looks like that on the map. We will have some, like, I don't know what. It doesn't look like a crossing. I don't know. Is it like a bridge here? Or, I don't know. Yeah, it is a bridge. Yes, it is a bridge here. Because here is a train. <laughs> yeah, we have a train here. Okay, so that's why. Yeah, we're supposed to, yeah, go here, Viden, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's our road, you know, that's our road. Oh, it was hard to turn. Look, people are not sleeping yet. Slowly. I'm trying to, you know, be close to this truck because he will know how to go later in Mesdra city and I don't know that's the problem okay slowly and this bridge should hold our weight let's see 37 38 tons one way ticket to be honest right Yeah, no problem. We are like few kilometers after this city and the road is still good, like it's perfect. It's just perfect. Damn, damn. I cannot believe it, you know, I just cannot believe it. Seriously. 24 kilometers left. Do we have some music maybe? YouTube will strike me, you know, for copyrights. <laughs> but I don't care. I want some Bulgarian music. Local one. Can we get? Come on. 
Uh, come on, radio. No. Is it Bulgarian? Yes. Nice. Okay, so we are passing uh, Mezdra city and look, it's something like that. Uh, that's a horse. Yeah, that's a horse. Nice. And uh, yeah, I have some signs, you know, we have some signs uh, telling us that we're supposed to go here if we want to get to Kalafat so that's what we are doing and let's see okay so as you can see we have Vidin here and yeah we are just going because I don't know who is having the right to go as a first one but as a truck I guess that we have <coughs> we have something here last part of the road is it's a typical you know like not so good but it's nice that we have it okay we have uh, rails and we are going yeah they will wait they have time we haven't got time and here we are entering uh, the road that I already know. Yes, that's the typical road to Wieden, to Kalafat. So that's okay. Uh, I'm driving almost four hours, so it would be nice to take a break somewhere. Unfortunately, it's going to be 45 minutes break. Yeah. So we are going to stop somewhere. Okay, so we are taking break just next to the road. We have 156 kilometers to Kalafat parking, which is like, yeah, two hours, 30 minutes. And we have still four hours of driving, seven hours of working time, so it's good. It's good, but I'm tired as hell, seriously. I know most of bad parts, you know, on this road and many other roads, but I don't know every single hole, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate, I wish to, so, like, for now we are going, like, in the middle of the road, because I know that this is the best option for this part of the road, okay, so that's what we are doing, <laughs> yeah, and as you can see and hear, like, it's smooth, you know, we are having smooth experience, yeah, quite smooth. Look at that. Finally, we are having highway, this new part. 
it is like I don't know 15 kilometers long something like that but still 15 kilometers is better than nothing yeah oh oh it's so smooth it's so smooth oh oh yes now my ass is happy you know oh it's so smooth damn you know i'm driving on this road and like here you know on the side of the road like the road was dark like now we have some lamps yeah but the road was dark and like i'm just basically you know driving like cutting corners you know and just like because there is no like place you know for um, people to walk here so just on the edge of the road you know like the guy is standing the guy is wearing black you know like old guy with gray hair gray beard you know like he's just looking somewhere there you know like he's standing like stand up you know he's not even looking at me like, like i'm driving he's not moving you know and he's wearing wearing like black pants but black some jacket and holding a black bag you know and he's like not moving just standing there and looking he he didn't even flinched you know when i passed him you know and i was like shit oh i don't know if i have seen a ghost or it was a real person maybe drunk maybe like drugs like i don't know like it was like a middle of nowhere damn damn like, like it, it's, it wakes you up better than like a morning espresso, you know? Damn! Like, I, I know what I have seen, okay? I know what I have seen. I don't know if it was a real person or a ghost or like whatever, but I know what I have seen. Like, it was like two seconds, okay? But I know, I like, damn. Ah, oh, damn. Just damn. Oh, we have 30 kilometers to parking. Calafat parking. Oh. Oh. I like. Oh. It's a weird feeling, you know? It's a weird feeling. Like the first spooky experience, you know, in Bulgaria in those forgotten by God roads that are going through mountains and fields and forests and villages. Ah, oh, the first one. I hope that it's not going to be the last one, right? Because I want some adventures. Even that kind of adventures, but damn. This guy was like... <sighs> damn. So here we have parking. There are a few trucks, just a few trucks waiting to get out. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. You know what? I have decided that we are staying here 2.36 a.m. yeah because because them like we are paying 25 euro for this parking so yeah I am staying here and tomorrow we're gonna cross the border hopefully fast and we're gonna cross Romania right? <laughs> 